We are Ben and MP, and this is Yaba, our former ranked vote. If you enjoy watching people showing their skills or learning new skills, you are definitely in the right place. So join us today because we're gonna have so much fun. As you can see behind me, the sky is very blue and the sun's out, which means we're gonna leave the interior for a rainy day, which is forecasted very soon. And we're gonna move outside again. So what we had to abandon last time due to the rain was the windows. Some parts were already epoxied into place and some parts still have to be. So that's what we're gonna continue. Now I'm just going over very quickly with a grinder to grind off some of the rough epoxy that was sticking out. And from what I can see, it's worked really well. All the uh, seams, all the gaps have closed and it should be very, very waterproof. I mean, of course, with the windows on, of, of course. And then hopefully, Nick has actually gone over the roof where we started fiberglassing just to dry it a bit. So hopefully the sun can dry the rest of it and we can actually continue doing some more fiberglassing today. No mess at all. So we've got a new varnish which is really cool and what I've heard is that it might. Legend says it that this has been used on Riva boats so we'll see what it looks like on ours.
as good as we can get it for now. So all the templates have been made. They're actually inside, the glass has been measured and we've ordered the wood to be able to make the supports for the windows which will arrive tomorrow. So there's a one really cool thing that's left and that is, I don't know if you've noticed that the table is very much to one side of the bench and not so much to the other. So we are literally gonna move the table 10 centimeters which might sound easy, but I think that's one of those things that sounds easy, but it's gonna be a nightmare. But all we have to do is somehow unfasten it from the deck and refasten it to the deck a bit further towards the engine room hatch. Super cool, it was kind of easy. Uh, Nico's gonna work on the table now while it's flipped, as it's very accessible and good to sand and varnish and clean and paint and whatnot. Uh, and as the wood has literally just arrived, Nezo and Diego have just gone back down to work on the door frame and also the window frame. I think the windows will come first because it'll be handy to have windows in the boat. So the windows are gonna literally just sit on top of that and there's gonna be a piece of wood framing a frame that is going to be screwed onto it with all the seeker flex and the seeker flex primer and everything necessary to keep it waterproof so that's going to be the next job
The frames where the, that are going to hold the windows in place on top of the wood have been made roughly. Now, of course, it can't just be placed like that. There has to be a little bit of a in a little dip in it so that it can actually fit nicely around the window. So that's going to be done now. However, the router in our shipyard is made for big, fat, five, six centimeter thick planks. So that can't be used, the table router. So we're here at Silverdio again, where we had our windows made. We're here with Nezo and uh, Diego. They're kind enough to let us use their little router, their little table router, to just make a little encaixamento where the windows will fit in. managed to get another few sheets of fiberglass on which is really cool unfortunately we've had to cut it off out of precaution because I don't want to run out of epoxy got a tiny bit left and I didn't want to run out halfway through a sheet so we cut the sheet off and we're gonna order more epoxy and then finish the rest it looks like it's all over the place but this is strategic because we want everything here more forwards covered because it's got the electrical panel steel and all our tools and then we wanted the holes covered and then bit by bit because it's this really cool fiberglass you can just cut it and place it wherever you want so that's our plan so the last little bits are being done and then this is gonna dry over the weekend and hopefully next week epoxy will arrive
Você vem pra baixo, pra ela não, não virar. A very long time ago, we built the lids and not only the lids, the benches themselves and the whole water management system, which is working very, very well. However, soon we want to start mounting the big block that's going to go on top, which is going to hold the winch and the stoppers or the stoppers, cleats. Um, unfortunately, that means that the last lid, the one most forward, will not be able to open. So the plan now is to measure where it has to be cut. So parts can open and a part will be able to slide or we'll figure it out later. So Nezo is going to give a go at that now, so it's going to be very cool. Nico has also done an amazing job at varnishing everything uh, for the windows. So the whole window frames that's going to hold the windows in place that Nezo and Diego made. So he's been varnishing that, it's got 10 layers on the outside and about, three, no, it's got four layers on the inside where it's not going to be in contact with the sun. The same procedure is going to happen with these windows as it is for the side windows of the superstructure which is the Sika primer followed by Sika flex and then the wood. Also this hole is going to be made underneath for the water to escape. One thing that's very very unfortunate is I went to go and bring the three glasses, the glass for the three windows to a place to have a lamination done so uh, assess, like a film put on that was fine all good looks amazing they polished the windows and as i put them back in the car and i shut the door two windows kind of hit and one cracked so we ha now have two windows which we might install and then wait for the third one to be copied and then installed but that's a bummer but it's part of it and i'm going to stop talking now because what you're going to see next is the finishing touches of the benches the windows being installed, hopefully when the epoxy arrives, which we've also ordered, the fiberglass on the roof being finished. I'm going to start finishing the little supports where the furniture is going to go on the inside. And at the same time, lots of ballast is still being done and moved around. But that's not being filmed anymore because we've got the amount of ballast we want and we're just moving it around a bit to optimize it. So hang in there, keep watching, and we'll, I guarantee we'll see some very cool stuff.
Ô, Nico, amanhã vamos tomar café na tua casa, ó. Põe nosso creme aqui enchido. Bota mais pra cá. It is now lunchtime, so the Sika primer is on the windows and it's going to dry. It dries super fast, but so we'll have all lunch as well to have it drying and it's in the sun, so it's nice. Also, the uh, bottom parts of the framing have been drilled through with four holes so water can escape if necessary so there's no water traps hopefully we have a Sika flex that's made for windows and we hope it's not dried out because it was used for the uh, side windows so we're gonna see if that still works if not we have to go and get it but next step is installing the windows we've got some wood arriving for interior if that doesn't work or we can nail the table down to the deck which can also be done with, let me find the pieces, There's nice varnished pieces everywhere on this boat, except I can't find these. Anyway, the nice pieces that will go around the bottom here, so this table will be fixed. This is also in place now, which is very, very cool, because it starts to be painted. But have a look, that opens, and this is where that will come, on top of this. Same over here, it's been cut, over here you can see there's another one there I guess you can see why we had to do this and it's caught so yeah that's that we're gonna go off to lunch and I'll see you in a bit depending on what materials we have we'll see what we do and that's how the whole boat work is going right now Aye. This nice table foot, I guess, is in place. It's uh, dry fitted because it's got not got any glue, Sikaplex, anything. It's got some stainless steel screws holding it in place. The table also hasn't been screwed onto the deck yet because now this fits, I'm very happy. What I want to do is put the same epoxy paint that's on here under everywhere where the table's gonna be just so that in case water gets stuck, it doesn't cause the deck to rot, which was a big problem in the beginning and then also those little bits that just got put on are gonna have seeker flex under them to prevent water from getting in so that's gonna be later because what we've noticed is bringing stuff in and out and dropping things everything gets a bit scratched so a lot of stuff's gonna happen before we go into water which includes this type of stuff and varnish
it was a hassle with the Seeker Flex, of course. As you can tell, that's my good hand. Um, unfortunately, you can see we have a piece of plywood in the middle, and in the middle, in the middle, and that's replacing the one that I broke, just in case it rains. This window is in place. It's Seeker. Now I did realise we've got some exit holes here. You see. But I did realize we don't have any entry holes here. So that's gonna be solved if it causes any issues, which I don't know, we'll see. My plan was so that water could go in through the window and out, and then I just didn't finish the plan as it should have. But these are in place. Everything's made for the last window, the middle one, except for the frames. But yeah, I'm happy about this. Let's see if it works. They are screwed in so we can always take them out and put them back in if necessary with adjustments. But yeah, I'm happy these are in place. We love how every single detail of the boat is turning out and we feel super lucky for the people we have working with us. And we also feel super lucky for all the people that have been joining us on our virtual crew. So thank you so much, Tim, Pete, Mark, Gary, Tim, Miha, John and Liz, Kenneth, Ken, Wiley, Donald, Dominic, Andrew, Brian, Mikey, Joseph, Robert, Argo, Gilbert and Lars. Thanks a lot for your support and see you all next Sunday.